Hello, hope you're doing well. Welcome to the first introduction video, besides the whole overall introduction video. On the weeks that I don't um, meet with you live, I like to do just a short taped intro to the week so that you have an idea of what to expect, what the goals are, and also the opportunity to see the troublemakers. That's Ash Cat. He's not so much of a troublemaker anymore. We're just old and we want what we want and boy do I relate. Um, so this week, as I'm sure you noticed through the readings, is a stroll through an overview of the class, which is going to have its foundation in the scientific method, starting with an observation. And when I ask you again, where do ideas from research come? It's never some lofty, idealistic situation. It's something you observe and start to wonder, could these things possibly be related? What I invite you to do through the term is get a, an idea for research that you would like to conduct because it really matters to you. It speaks to you. You've got a passion for it. And it may not even be related to your major. It could be outside of your major. But I want you to get that idea, kind of hold on to it. If possible, use the same idea through the term because that consistency will help you build on that idea as the, t as the term goes on. Now, you might also learn enough about that idea to realize that while it was fine for what it was, you can improve on it. Or, you know, you have woke up in the middle of the night at about 2 a.m. and said, wait, I know what it is. Okay, that's cool too. Having this as your own theoretical framework is going to make this class a lot more relevant to you. A lot of you may be thinking, you know, Dr. McQuillan, this is all, all really nice. And clearly we're going to be consumers of research, as many of you are going into educational psychology or related fields. And believe me, you'll be inundated with it. I think you may be surprised how much research do you actually have an opportunity to conduct or participate in? So please don't dismiss the idea that you could be an active participant or a lead researcher. Look what 2020 has brought us. Could being an active researcher be any more shocking than what we've encountered? No, I don't think so. So... This week, I want you to keep your focus on the totality of research designs, ways to think about setting up what we want to study, ways to think about how we would analyze and report it. Obviously, we'll be going through a lot more detail um, as the weeks progress, but this is a really good overview as to the process. So, the usual rules apply. Any questions, concerns, thoughts, call me, email me, text me. Let's talk about it. Have a great week, guys, uh, and I do hope to hear from you, and I look forward to seeing your introductions on the uh, graded discussion. Take care. Bye.